grooming um it's it's how a toxic person creates loyalty your loyalty towards them it's how they get us to believe they are the thing that we need and how they get us to believe that they are that they basically become your whole world right how how does it look i mean usually it starts with a love bombing right it starts with um um finding familiarities finding um ways that your lives are similar or ways that they can help you in your life or um, they make you violet says uh, they make you believe they would do anything for you and your well-being but nothing could be further from the truth exactly and it's it, it's it's interplayed with a sort of isolation and um pulling you away from the things that you do rely on you know one of the red flags we look for right is is uh, does a person um, respect your boundaries. But the thing is, most people don't go into a situation looking for that, right? So the tiny boundary pushes are the more um, usual way that the grooming happens. That's, that's a big one. Um, they create doubt um, about the things that you uh, believe to be um, supportive and real in your life so that they become the thing you turn to. We're talking about power. When we're talking about grooming. We're talking about slowly and methodically stealing someone's power. Uh, they play the victim sometimes to get you to um, get you to feel for them. They play on your empathy. They get you to feel for them to be um, to be important. They get you to feel important in their life through the way that your empathy um, reaches out to them. So sick. Grooming is just the process that they that is used to um, create the bond. Because you're not just going to walk up and fall for it, right? If if you went in, like, say you've been with them three years, and you went in to year two, and like you were just dropped into year two. You'd be looking around like, what is this crazy planet? I'm out of here. You wouldn't, it's not that we're stupid and we just fall for these things, okay? It, this is a slow process and, and all of these manipulative techniques, yeah, they, they, they basically train your mind. It's, they train your mind to, they groom your mind, they train your mind to um, believe what the narc wants you to believe so that they can have power. Okay. Um, the dangers of grooming are that that it, it's creating a loyalty. So how how can you avoid it, right? What can you see? It's looking for the red flags, but it's also um, recognizing when it's grooming, right? Which is a big red flag. They find a way into your life fast. Toxic people will find a way into your life fast through the grooming process. Through um, Basically, they kind of embed themselves in your life and then start creating wedges between the people that are already in your life and yourself so that the isolation becomes a huge factor, too.